Hi there, I am Link584, and today I want to tell you a RuneScape story. Now, I know I know what a lot of you are probably thinking. I play RuneScape? No, no, actually, I used to. I used to back when I was 13. I'm 22 right now. Okay. This is a specific story in mind that actually goes back to when I originally joined. I joined RuneScape about two months before the Halloween event that was going to occur in 2003. Now for those of you who, who want a little information about RuneScape, just so you understand what's happening, is during the main holidays there's some sort of event that happens. These days it's usually in the form of a quest, I believe. I haven't actually played RuneScape in about five years, but when I did but they, when they first joined, they had these holiday drops where they would, from the sky, these items would drop down onto the ground and essentially what it is is that you'd have this holiday themed item. You'd go to pick it up. That particular year uh, for Halloween, they dropped a Grim Reaper Scythe, which I thought was really cool. It's actually one of the best holiday items, period, I think, that have been released. Now. Prior to that, for the first three years or so, they had holiday items that they would drop from the sky and you could trade them with other players. Well, as time went on, the values began to go up and, you know, Jagex, the people that made RuneScape, they figured, oh, you know what, um, people are getting these insane prices for these items just because they weren't around at the time. So now they went ahead and they made these items untradeable. Not the ones from before, but the new ones that came out. So the old ones that were tradable were still tradable with other players. So now today, you know, 10 years later for some of them, ridiculous prices. It's a, it's a sign of being wealthy in the game. But the scythe was the second item to come out that was untradable. So by having the scythe, it is proven that your character has been around since October of 2003. It's, it's, really, it's really interesting to think about. So you have this symbol that, that firmly tells you, hey, I was around since the beginning. I've been around for at least 10 years, whatever. Of course, for me, it's not even fair. I could sign on and everyone say, oh, look at that scythe. But my stats, they stink. I haven't been playing but this scythe has always been one of my favorite video game items, period. Just because it, it was one of my first items and one of my favorite items in RuneScape. And I played RuneScape for about five years. That's a long time. That's a quarter of my life. In fact, uh, it's a little over a quarter now, but at one point it was a quarter of my life. And when I think about it, I always remember where that scythe was because it, it fell from the sky. They fell everywhere. Now, to those of you who actually play the game, I uh, I hope this is a semi good description because it's been a long time. I don't know how the game has changed. I don't know if they changed the layout at all. I don't think they did. They kept it structurally the same, the landscapes and all that. But in the starting town of Lumbridge. I believe that you could go uh, north, heading towards uh, Varrock. I think it's Varrock. And uh, as you begin to go north, you have a, a couple different ways to get there. Splits. It splits into two ways. And from what I remember is I took the path to the right, which was a very boring, scenic path. And shortly after, there was a, a small uh, rectangular field that was on your left-hand side. I got my scythe in that field. It was, it was really cool to get it. I uh, believe I got it before school that day. 
I was up early and all stuff, and while others are eating cereal and and watching TV that day, you know, I was playing RuneScape. And then I had only been playing it for a couple months at that time. And it was just, it was just really cool to have that item. And I still log in now and then just to check out my character. And I wield the scythe wherever I go. It's been one of my favorites. And I just like showing off. It's so nicely designed. It shows how long I've been around. And it reminds me of a different era in my gaming experience. One that I have so many memories of in RuneScape. But that scythe will always mean everything to me. I mean, not literally everything, but it's just, it's just one of those items that I don't go around saying, oh, you know, you know, you have a conversation with friends, say, oh, what's some of your favorite video game weapons? Oh, a portal gun, or oh, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's what it symbolizes, I think, more than anything. So it's, it's a part of me, and I'll never forget that time. Anyway, I'm Link584. Thank you for listening to my story. I know it was very basic, but we all have some sort of item or memory that we look back to, and this is one of my big ones to me. It's just what that scythe represents at a certain time in my life, because that was a big time in my life. So if you're an MMO player, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because games come and go, but the great adventures and journeys in an MMO, that's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother feeling. It's a different chapter of your life almost. I'm just never going to forget that scythe.